How effective is the combination of your main product and the ancillary text? We created our video and DigiPack with the idea that they will work together and support each other instead of standing alone. As from looking at existing media products, we can see that this works best for creating an artist image and recognition from the public, whilst also looking for the most effective. We've tried to ensure this by continuing with the colour scheme throughout and keeping the same mood that is present in our video, with the poses that show the same facial expressions and posture. We base this around the themes in the song that we have used for our music video. We felt that this song had quite a moody and emotional, so we also wanted to create something that counterbalanced this in our digipack, but not so different that it doesn't show the link between the two. To do this, we kept the colour scheme very minimal, by using mostly black, whites and greys. We also wanted to keep everything quite simple, as we felt it was appropriate for our audience and artists, so in each project we didn't focus much on the mise-en-scene of the shot and opted for a plain black background. However, I feel as the video is all shot outdoors in rural areas, this contrast and perhaps doesn't make sense in relation to the rest of the digipack. However, this is just one song from the album and not even a title track, so I think that this is okay as the album design isn't usually revolved around one of the videos. I feel they definitely show some continuity as we've kept her look very similar in each photograph so viewers can easily make a link through her distinct style of dark outfits and bright white bleached hair. I think that also... Because we have done this, all the products support each other as it emphasises the look we are trying to portray and makes her different style more iconic and noticeable, even out of context. We have kept the same font rainbow on all the products so that people may start to recognise this style as hers and link it to the artist when they see it. We notice that artists like Lana Del Rey and Vampire Weekend also did the same thing to create their image. Each album has the same front with the same sort of cover art, so we are able to recognise that. This is them. We even tested the continuity between products to make sure they were right for each other. To do this, we tried to create photographs that would complement each other and not cause any confusion for the viewers by making the themes in each photo too different. We felt to avoid this, making the front and back covers look as simple and minimalistic as possible would work well. However, we then found that this meant that we had to use a photograph in the middle that wasn't going to totally contradict this, so we decided to use a photo including the mise en scene from the video as we felt our audience would be able to link back to it. We also felt, including this as the photo in the middle of the digipack, that this would complement the video and, which, and this would be reflected in our digipack. These were made with the aim of branding and creating an artist, which I feel I have achieved with the continuity of my work. I feel there was no need to make the video Digipack and Magazine Advert all identical as the, the video is for only one track from the album and not the entire image we want to promote. Thinking about it, it may have worked well if we had made the video in black and white to keep with the continuity of the Digipack and then created everything else from this artist in black and white so that people would have a very clear vision of our artist and her style which would be recognisable instantly. However, I feel they have worked well together as it is, and if all in black and white, it would become bland and our audience may be put off after a while, so I think what I have created is working well together.